Hi everyone, Sierra Thompson, Independent Scentsy Consultant here. I have been going through some wax this week, so I am bringing to you my, what I've been warming for the past eight days or so. Um, I just shared a video that I um, had a haul, a small, a very small haul, but I think my next one will be a big haul. I have lots of rewards coming and I haven't even fully decided what I'm gonna get with those rewards, but um, the parties this month have double rewards. So instead of three, I have six. <laughs> so I'm going to be ordering a lot, probably stocking up for um, the end of this season and then getting more fruity scents that are available in the catalog right now to get me ready for next season. I'm so excited to see what's coming back. I'm hoping that um, Rainbow Sherbert, Pina Colada Cha Cha, and Coco Lime come back. Skinny Dippin', those are my favorites, I think, from last um, spring and summer, so I'm really hoping that they return. But let's get into what I finished this week. So I'm going to start with non-wax items first. I finished a hand soap. Um, this hand soap actually lasted quite a while because I use regular hand soap in my kitchen, um, but I use foaming everywhere else. Uh, so I just because in the kitchen, I feel like cutting the grease and everything when I wash my hands, I want the full strength, but everywhere else I use foaming. And um, a lot of people share videos um, of how you make the foaming hand soap. So you can check those out. Um, I've not made a video of that, but you basically pour in um, like I would say a third of your soap container with soap and then the rest you fill with water and it has to be a specific foaming hand soap dispenser like that air that adds to it is what creates the foam so you have to have that kind of container I have glass containers um, that I use for the foaming hand soap but my kids actually like the full strength hand soap so they have one of these and then I have one in my kitchen and then I have foaming hand soap in my bathroom so I finished that and that was actually from the harvest collection the bright cider life from the harvest collection uh, but now, uh, another non-wax item. I finished, I don't know if I put this in my last video. I may have thrown it away. Sometimes I forget about the non-wax items. But I finished a jammy time. I think that was in my last video. Um, and then I finished clothesline this week. So I bought the three pack. I got a jammy time, um, a clothesline, and a fluffy fleece. And I actually reordered that same pack again. I like having the three different scents because I can switch it up when I feel like it. These come in the smaller containers like this, but they also come in a big tub if you want like all one scent. I just like to switch it up and do different scents for different types of clothing and different beddings, things like that. So clothesline, it's a really nice clean laundry scent. Yeah, it's just fresh, clean, like it totally is laundry. Very pretty, very nice, and it's strong. It's the strongest scent, I think, to me. Um, but Fluffy Fleece is pretty good, too. All right, my scents that I've been getting through, I did Cashmere Corduroy. This is a beautiful, fancy lady scent to me. It's so pretty. I don't know if it has, like, amber or bergamot. It's very, very pretty. Let me see if I can find um, the description because it's, it's so good. I didn't expect to like it, but I love it. <laughs> Cashmere and Corduroy. Wrap yourself up in the coziness of creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. Yep, it does have bergamot, which is crazy because I don't usually like bergamot, but it's this, I think it's that cashmere, like it's so, and that vanilla, that creamy, it is creamy, but not foodie, like if that makes sense. It's a pretty, like perfumey scent. Oh, so pretty. It's so pretty, like, and it's perfect in the bedroom. I don't warm this anywhere else besides the bedroom and the bathroom, but it is very nice in those areas, and it's strong, and it lasts a long time, so very good. Okay, next scent. Let me see. I will try to keep this out so I can say what the scent notes are for each one, although I think one or two of these scents might be ones that aren't available anymore. Uh, let's see. Vanilla Waves. So if I recall right, it was vanilla with like salty sea air. Like it's so good. It is vanilla, but it's very summer vanilla, like beachy vanilla, like a, oh, just so good. My goodness. It would be a pretty perfume 
It is not like bakery and it is not just vanilla. It's got a saltiness to it at the end. Oh, so good. And it is fantastic when you mix. I love this when it's mixed. It's so good. But it's very like um, not summer vanilla. It's Or it is summer vanilla, not winter vanilla. Because it is very like salty sea air, like beachy vanilla. If you can imagine that. So pretty. And I mixed this with Dancing Sugar Plums. Which I have, I can actually read the scent notes. Dancing Sugar Plums, I think it's Spice. It's um, Sugar Plums, maybe Cinnamon Spices. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, let me see. Let me find that scent description here. I have my catalog. Um, Dancing Sugar Plums. Rich spiced plum falls right in step with visions of vanilla and sweet cinnamon apple. It is a very pretty deep scent. Like very, that's the best way that I can describe it. Very deep. It's, um, it's like, it's definitely like dark plums, like very dark and, oh, it's so good though. It's very pretty. Um, this scent is actually my favorite in the body care line and I actually have, oh, a hand soap here that I'm still hanging on to. It is almost empty. Um, this is such a good scent. I actually didn't try it when it was available initially. I got it in clearance and I'm really sad that I didn't stock up on it because it's 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 the best scentsy body care scent that I've ever smelled. I love it so much. It's like perfect. So that kind of sucks. But this is a great scent. Awesome. I did this and Vanilla Waves and every other warmer in my living room and kitchen area. Okay. My next set that I warmed was Clementine Cupcake. I think I did this in my kids' rooms. It is so good. It is, it is Clementine and Cupcake, but it is very like heavy on the buttery note of the cupcake, like a white frosting, like a very heavy very heavy butter. I mean, this this has a lot of like butter to me in the after notes. Um, similar to that of sugar cookie, but even heavier on the butter note. Um, it's very pretty though. I love it. It's a it's great for the kitchen, and I like warming it, especially in the summer because it seems like appropriate. It's Clementine cupcake. But let me find um, the description so I can read the scent notes because. Even though I smell that, that doesn't mean that's correct. Um, Clementine Cupcake, a warm vanilla cupcake infused with sweet clementine and sprinkled with lemon sugar. So good. So good. Okay, I have Mocha Doodle. I think I was feeling like kind of a coffee type of scent, so I did Mocha Doodle. Um, I don't even know if this is really coffee. It's chocolatey though. Very chocolatey. And I like it. My favorite chocolate scent is actually Hug in a Mug, but I do like Mocha Doodle also. So let me see. Mocha Doodle is. Oh, you know what? It's not in this catalog. The Hug and a Mug is right now. Mocha Doodle would have been in my Scentsy Club. So just realizing that. That was in my Scentsy Club. I feel like Mocha Doodle is chocolate coffee. Like that type of vibe. Um, I think it is more like a coffee versus um, Hug and a Mug, which is like cocoa. Mm. It's very nice. Very nice. Not as like. I'm going to say this. Hug and a Mug gives Tootsie Roll vibes to me. Very much Tootsie Roll. Um, Mocha Doodle does not. So um, quite a bit different, but still very nice. All right. Uh, so I think, oh, I have one more, two more that aren't in this catalog. Oh my gosh. I wanted a lot of scents that weren't in the catalog this time. Honey Pear Cider is a beautiful pear scent. Oh, it's so good. It used to be available in the fall winter catalog, but this year it did not return. I have it in my Scentsy Club, and I think I got this in a bundle. Oh, there was a bundle, like a 10-pack bundle of, like, fall fragrances or something, I think. Ooh, maybe at the start of the season, I think. And this was in it, and I got it. Just so excited. Mm, pear, spice, so nice. Very good. And I mixed this with winterberry apple tea, which is fantastic. It's like winter cranberry tea, honey. If I'm recalling, let me see. Winterberry apple tea cozies up to cranberry apple and honey. Yep. It's good and it's fruity. It's very pretty. Mm, oh my gosh. It's so, it's such a good fruity scent. 
it's so pretty and it performs well um every time i warm it it's so good now this is one of those that this colors um the plastic a lot a lot and now just because it does that doesn't mean that anything's wrong with the fragrance it will perform just fine even though it has this color oh so good. and this actually i had bars from maybe a year ago so this was probably a year old so that's why it's it's a little discolored my newer ones aren't like this so i did this and then honey pear cider and every other warmer very nice um polar bear hug i think i did this in my daughter's room just one cube i didn't even finish it and this is a wonderful wonderful scent every time i smell it though when i read the description it does not sound like the description this seems more perfumey whereas the description seems foodie i don't know why that is um let me see it is i believe fresh polar bear hug Blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, and amber in a softly romantic scent. So it must be the amber that makes it more perfumey because it does not seem foody at all to me, even though it says all these food notes. It's very, and I don't know how blackberry jam, it does not smell like blackberry jam or brown sugar to me, but it smells good. So I like it. <laughs> it does give me perfume type. So I never warm it in my kitchen. I warm it in the bedrooms, the bathrooms, that kind of area. Um, but I only used one cube. And then the last scent that I warmed is another one that's not in the catalog. I was doing a lot that weren't in the catalog this week. Um, it is Spiced Orange Harvest. It is a spicy orange scent. More like fall appropriate. Because it's heavier. It's not bright. I mean, it is a little because of the orange. But it's got spice. Which works awesome in the fall time. And this is good. This is in my Scentsy Club because I warmed it. It came back for a bring back my bar, I believe, or like a, what was it? It might've been a bring back my bar. I can't remember, but I know that it was available for a bit. And then my husband was like, Ooh, that's a good one. You should stock up on that. So I put it in my Scentsy Club. He loves it. And I think that is all that I've actually finished this week. So not too bad. I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight bars and like one cube that's not too bad actually but I think most of that is because I um I didn't I didn't change out my boys sense uh too much this week I probably will next week it depends like I have to go around and change it now I have a lot of warmers out in my living room um kitchen area so I generally use two bars in that area total Sometimes, if I want to be really fancy, I have to use more than that. But usually two bars there. I will split a bar um, between my boys, usually two and two. And then I'll have two more left. Or I'll have two and two. And then I think usually, so what I do is two for them, two for my oldest, two for my youngest. And then I will generally use these for my hallway and bathroom so their bathroom I usually will put two cubes in and then I have one warmer in my hallway that I'll put two I try to do that but I don't always like the scent to be in the hallway that's in the room I'm weird like that and I don't mind using just one cube from a bar I don't need to finish the whole bar all at once so it doesn't bother me so I usually will warm uh, more citrus fruity scents in their rooms because it helps keep everything fresh smelling my daughter she likes bakery and like um halloween like candy heavy bakery scents so she likes those so i put those in her room and then in our bedroom i generally warm like scents with bergamot or um like silk cashmere type scents i like those in the bedroom they smell the best to me and they usually are strong so that's what i like in there uh, that's what I've been warming this week. Let me know what you guys are warming and what you've been up to. We are fully good back in the swing of things. It's been um, a little bit crazy getting back in the swing of things because we had a break there and my son is back in basketball. So it's back and forth practices and games and so many things, but doing good, warming a lot and uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys are warming and are you excited for the new catalog? I can't wait. As soon as it comes um, out, like what's going to be available, I will do a video talking about what I'm excited for, what I've warmed before, 
because I'm telling you, summer scents are so good. I love fall and winter. I do. But some of those summer scents, Coco Lime was so, like, the first year it came out, I loved it. But I didn't warm it very much. I was like, oh, it's so good. But last year, I was warming it like crazy. Oh, and Make a Splash. Oh, please let Make a Splash come back. Because that, I was obsessed with that last summer. <laughs> it was so good. I love Make a Splash, Coco Lime, Rainbow Sherbet, Skinny Dippin', Pina Colada Cha Cha. Like, oh, all the summer scents. I can't wait for them. Uh, because once you're kind of in that weird in between the fall, and spring, it's like awkward. Like it's, I warm a lot of bakery scents, but it's kind of like you don't know what to warm. It's kind of weird. So, I can't wait to like really get into the like summer and spring scents that we will have available. But I know it's gonna be a while. I heard that we get snow here through February. <laughs> so February, like the end of February. So we'll see. But let me know what you guys are warming, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.